Hey everybody, what's going on? It is Catch episode 3, I think? I went AFK for a bit, sorry about that. Um, I've been trying to do this review on this laptop for a while. I believe this is my 5th video I recorded on the Pixel, and I think it's the 8th video I try to record for Catch episode 3. I think it's 3, I forget, it's been so many that... Ugh. Anywho... I'm going to talk about the Chromebook Pixel, which is this one right here. This is the 2013 model, <laughs> and it is the first generation Pixel. Uh, this is just the standard 32 gigabyte model. The 64 gigabyte model had, I believe it had like a modem as well, a uh, W1 modem. It's, you know, to, so you can have 4G, I believe it had 4G LTE on it. But, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> this is actually like maybe my third favorite laptop arguably my it is it is my number one used laptop though i use it a lot for work um it what i love about it which i didn't even think it was i was going to use it for is that it um we use google we use uh what was the phone right let me try to get the phone out i have a it's not even on a samsung galaxy s6 um this was one of the phones that we got at my work which is an electronic recycler um yeah, I was able to, luckily whoever had it last didn't upgrade the Android OS. And so now we have this as like a, you know, phone to use. It's by Cricket, but but um, that's not the point. One thing about about uh, taking photos and, you know, doing listings on, on eBay is that the one of the best ways is, of course, you know, you have, you have a camera and then, you know, you have a laptop or desktop that you can use to, you know, post it. It doesn't really make, it's, it's a little bit hard to, to do it off a phone. Um, I mean, you can have like pre-made scripts and stuff like that, but you know, it sucks and I'm getting into weird tangent, but what's cool about, about a pixel or a Chromebook in, in essence is that it integrates Google photos with, you know, your Google drive with, with your uh, computer. So when I take photos with, with, with the phone, I have it automatically upload to Google photos. Oh crap, it's going to beep a lot. And the good thing about that is that when it comes to, uh, you know, uploading a photo, I could upload directly from Google Photos. And it's a pretty, it's pretty cool. I, I mean, it, you know, these upload real quickly and, and you don't have to worry about, about hard drive space or online space. I have like high quality, which is unlimited. So the only thing is that, you know, you give away your freedom to Google. But I mean, if you're watching this, you probably don't care about the, uh, you know the bad bad parts about Google since it's running Chromium OS you cannot install like you know office and I guess you know Photoshop you can't really play games on it uh, I tried playing slither IO on it <laughs> um, that doesn't play it that well so but I really do really do really do really do 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 like this laptop um, I, this is my third Chromebook that I've used but it's technically my fifth one that I've had. Uh, the first one was a uh, 2000, you know, no one, one of these, but it had a faulty backlight on, faulty backlight on the uh, LCD. In the middle, it was just, uh, you know, it was kind of dark, but sometimes it would go away. I did notice that when I pressed down on the on the uh, glass on the bottom right here, it somehow um, made it work again. So it was an LED error. I ended up cracking it and cracking the glass trying to because I was gonna try to open the screen but um, what I ended up having to do was on the bottom underneath the laptop what I could have did was just I ended up sliding a little piece of paper between the little crevice between the uh, lid and the uh, glass and it solved the issue but after I cracked the touch screen it, the uh, laptop was pretty much unusable from there oh my gosh we're doing a one video edit, maybe. <laughs> and then my second Chromebook, well, my second and third one were broken units I tried to fix up, but it was too much of a, I never figured out what it was. I believe that wire damage, so I couldn't fix those up. Whoa. And, and, uh, <laughs> where am I at right now? Oh my God. <sighs> So I had the broken ones, and then eventually it came across a 2015 Chromebook Pixel that was on auction for $520. Um, 
that one the it was an eBay valet val, valet seller valet seller and they label it as a CB002 Chromebook. They didn't say Pixel and all. And because of this, nobody knew what it was. I I don't know. I just so happened to be looking at a Chromebook. I I, uh, I obsessively have like laptops, you know, on my watch list listings. I should say on my watch list on my phone. So I saw it one day and I saw that and I auctioned. Uh, you know, I bid on it. Nobody, you know, nobody beat my bid, and I got a really good deal. I think that was what 2000. That was the end of 2000. It was the end of 2015. So whoever had it must have like hated it or something, <laughs> but they didn't return it. I don't know. It was really weird, but I got it. It was pretty awesome. It's actually better than the 2013 model, you know. Of course, the the battery life and the performance is a lot more better than this one. Um, this laptop does like to get hot a lot. It gets maybe too hot to to use i wouldn't recommend using it like say if you have it on your lap and you're out on a sunny day and you have like 10 tabs open it's gonna be a bit a bit warm and if you only have like maybe three tabs open and one of them's like a video or maybe even uh you know you listen to music um it does get really warm because of the super thin you know design that it has it doesn't it doesn't have proper cooling as far as reliability goes, I haven't had too many problems with it. It does give me some issues here and there, but usually they are, I mean, you just turn it off, turn it back on. Um, there's some issues where Chrome, uh, Chrome, yeah, Chrome, you know, quits on me, but then it comes right back up. I've had those, I had those issues with Chrome before on Windows and Mac, so I don't know. But um, for the most part, I mean, I like the machine. The what made me want to really get this was that the simple design of this laptop. I mean, look at look at this back. If you see the back of it, there's like nothing. And of course, the uh, front of it is pretty cool too. I love that they centered the touchpad. That's one thing that Mac gets right is that they centered a the touchpad. It's uh, to me, it's so stupid when when you buy a you know a big uh, even other laptops they like to center it with the with the space bar but it doesn't make sense and then and they do the same thing when it when you buy like a 15 inch laptop or a 17 inch laptop they put the number pad and then they push the touch pad but um a great thing on that laptop is the 3 by 2 display i think it's a uh, 12 in 12.85 inch i i think it's a uh, 20 2560 by 1700 pixels uh the three by two display is really nice um even though it's a, you know glossy display and i do see myself and i do you do see like you know shining around around uh you know around your environment it does suck but the you could put it put it bright um i don't think since i don't go outside that often uh you haven't really <laughs> seeing how bright you get outside but <laughs> i wouldn't recommend being outside with this thing anyways because it could just get so hot if you're not on a table or something like that um but one thing that's not good is it's it's kind of hard finding a printer to work with the, your device uh, i have a brother i think it's an hl 3170 and it luckily if, if you if you configure it through you need a windows computer to configure it to to go you know google cloud ready printer or whatever for it to work and then at my at my job we have like an epson cae uh 5190 i think we have like some it's like a workforce or it's, it's one of those eco eco jet or eco print printers it's really nice it's super cool but uh that one we had to configure windows as well but once you have that set up you know if, if you have a desktop at home you know if you, if you have your printer set up by, by through your network then it seriously prints out pretty well and um i would been able to you know you could pick and choose the cassette you know if you want the top top up uh, you know say we have like you know two different uh papers on uh, the two different uh, trays so the top one we have just for like like shipping labels and the bottom one we have just regular paper paper and i'm able to switch between them and haven't had any issues uh as far as let me think what else we have on there there's for storage you only have 32 gigs or you have the 64 gigabyte one kind of sucks you're limited to that i think 
the 2015 model had it has eight gigs of RAM. This one has four gigs of RAM. But I think the 2015 model had I think it had a 64 gig, and then the LS had an i7 and a 128. I might I might be wrong on that, but um, the RAM you definitely do feel it, even though Chrome it's basically just Chromium, you know, Chrome, uh, you know, running. Each tab adds another, you know, adds more RAM to it. So when it comes, to, like when I had my my uh, my T430s when I was doing some of my <laughs> my eBay videos that I don't do now, <laughs> um, I had like 40 tabs, and it, you know, it's it's at six gigabytes of RAM on Linux, and I wouldn't be able. To, oh my gosh, this thing probably would be just be super 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 slow. Um, another thing that I like about the laptop is that the uh, the gestures you can do with the touchpad. Uh, I love the with three fingers you could, you could switch between uh, was it tabs? I think it's three fingers. It might be your whole hand, but uh, you can switch between tabs. That's really sweet because it's it's a little bit tricky because it's it's pretty sensitive when you do it. But um, I find it really easily to do. That being said, it doesn't have a track point, and if it had a track point, if it had a track point, it would be awesome. It would be probably. I probably wouldn't have a reason to have a ThinkPad, give or take, you know, at all. But, so the touchpad's the only thing. It is kind of hard. I have to go like that. I do use a mouse. I, yeah, it's, it's pretty tough to use. Um, another thing is that you have a SD card slot if you need more memory. I think the I think a lot of SD cards like to stick out a little bit on there, so that's, like, the only thing. And um, you only have two USB ports. I think they're USB 3.0. I'm not sure. You have a, a mini display port out, and you also have an auxiliary cord so, uh, or a headphone, you know, combo headphone microphone jack. <laughs> um, oh, another cool thing about the Chroma Pixel is that it has really good sound. The As tiny as it is, it the sound isn't like super top-notch quality, but if you're watching a video and it's mainly, you know, somebody talking... You're gonna be able to hear it, and people around are gonna be able to hear it. That's it's pretty. It's a lot more surprising than I thought. It's actually more louder than my A31P, uh, but it's not as loud as a uh, Toshiba Cosmio X505 I, I had a few a few years back. And I guess that's about it. Oh, uh, pricing wise, you get these. The lowest I've seen them used w was 250. Um, Back in 2015, when I first bought one, I think I paid like $400. I think $450, I think, was, was what they were normally going for, which was a good deal at the time. Now they dropped. Eventually, some people dropped them. Uh, I looked uh, last year when I tried to do this video. Um, they were at around $350. I think I bought this for $400. Bought it brand new. It does, if, if you guys don't know, it does have the European keyboard layout. Uh, that is something that I have gotten used to. It is kind of weird when I have a American keyboard and trying to type on that thing. On this laptop in particular, I believe the price I paid was three hundred and fifty. It might be four hundred. No, I think it was three fifty. I bought it new. Um, the only thing is that it was since it was new in box, I had to like do. It was kind of weird to use at first because it needed update, but it kept on having trouble. I believe I I ended up getting a you know little USB flash drive and I did the Chrome uh, the Chromebook recovery and after I did that it solved the issue but the cool thing about these is that when you when this year when they first at 2000, 2013 they cost like twelve hundred dollars new I think fourteen fifty with the um at, with the LTE model with sixty four gigs of RAM that's serious money for something that you can only web browse in. So even though it was an Ultrabook, still that was a lot of money. I think uh, I think the you could get a X1 Carbon for like, I think they started at 1200. So just kind of showing you what else there was there. Uh, but as usual, I really don't keep notice of what new laptop prices are. So, <laughs> but so, that that happened right and then in 2015 they brought the new uh pixels and the new one was like uh a thousand bucks and the ls was i think 1200 
So people who bought these kind of got, you know, they got kind of pissed because they just made a new model two years later and they dropped down the price of it, which is really strange. I think the only real improvements was that the other one had the new, the 2015 model has better battery life. I think it's it could go up to 12 hours compared to I think eight on the Pixel, and on the 2013 model I should say, and of course the RAM was upgraded. The other thing was that the the L, the LCD was a little bit better. Now I didn't have both Pixels side by side, so I can't really say, but. I just remember the 2015 Chromebook Pixel being like really awesome. I'm I'm gonna need to get one. I'm gonna need to get one. Even though I have this one, I want to get a 2015 model. I might give this one to like my mom or something like that, or uh, I guess maybe my cousin who who's who's a Chromebook guy. But um, I I right now I think there are some you could get as low as $300 brand new. So you you'll be able to one incentive to get it brand new is that. You can get use the one terabyte of online storage for I think it's two or three years from Google. So I jumped on it. I truthfully don't really use all that much data on my drive, but I mean, I want to use the perks of it. Um, Google is doing this with their phones now. If you buy like their Pixel, fo Pixel phone, you get, I believe it's unlimited uh, photo and video storage now. So they were going for 350 use. And so. I think uh, I didn't really see what the 2015 models go for brand new, but they've been like really high since they stopped production on them. They kind of like held their value for how long they're gonna hold their value. I'm not too sure, but for the most part, I mean, I love my Pixel. I love it. Not as even though I have my T430s, that's IPS Full HD, you know, 1080p modded. I don't know. It, it just works. In my scenario for work, it literally works really good. And if I need a Windows computer, I got one right here. I have a MacBook as well to do Mac stuff with it. But the only thing is that I can't I can't e e erase iPhone. There's no iTunes on there, so I can't like uh, restore uh, iPhones. Can't really work with uh, you know Google phones because you need a Windows computer. When it comes to USBs, I'm able to most of the USBs work. I think some of the Apple USBs don't like like uh, Chrome OS, because um, I think I, I I've some of my USBs messed up because of it, and I believe w Windows USBs work fine. And if you have multi boot, they work fine. I guess that's it. Um, you can use extensions and little apps for Photoshop. I use Pixlr. Uh, I love Google Docs, really nice. Um, I love the integration of it. You could add two users on here, so I have, I have you know, of course, the my email I use to upload videos from, and then I have my work email. So it's kind of like having it's not dual booting, of course, but it helps a lot. So I could, you know, alternate from the two. And uh, yeah, just the uh, screen is super good. It's backlit. Uh, the design of it is really nice. I, I really got to mess with the, uh, the little L, 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 C, the LED background or the LC. Oh my gosh. The, the, this, the, the emblem logo color thing. I heard you could do like different colors on there. Uh, I think I would just do like a constant stream of colors just to bug people out when I go to Starbucks. Uh, yes, I'm a coffee junkie. And I think that's about it. So yeah, as far as like my wear and tear on it, really it hasn't done, done that bad. I haven't messed with the thermal paste yet. When it comes to repairing these, they're very hard to fix up. Um, of course the, the little uh, sc screws are, are underneath these four little uh, feet, but because it's so tiny, the, the air is just sucks. I have to raise this. I have like a little like a what is that? Those letter trays where you, you know have the app box and stuff for your email. I have this raise on on put on that little wire basket so it works for the heating. But when I open one of these up, these have like a uh, like a kind of adhesive tape to it, glue tape thing to it. So if if you don't repair your laptop quickly, that adhesive doesn't bind correctly. And you can really bend the bottom part really easily, and it'll come uneven. It, it's it's not good. When uh, let me, you know what? Where's the motherboard I have of this thing? 
Ah, forget it. That's where I messed up the video last time. But it, it doesn't have... You can't... Once you buy the... Uh, whatever model you have, you can't upgrade the RAM. Your only solution is to use an SSD or a USB flash drive. There's only two USBs, so that might be a real bummer for some people. Um, I do have a wireless mouse that I use, but I really need a Bluetooth wireless mouse you know, for it to be really awesome. And then the uh, power charging port, I haven't really had any problems with it. It you know spins around, so it's really nice. The, uh, the 2015 uh, Pixel has, I think, a USB-C connector here and here as well. And you know what? Now I think about it, there isn't... There isn't a Kensington lock. And also, I haven't really got many scratches on thing, this this machine. I guess I took really good care of it. There is some wear and tear in the edges of the laptop. And I did, uh, earlier this week, I did place this on concrete with dirt. And it did scratch up a little bit. But other than that, I really like the look of this. If this had a track point, it'd be great. Um, I also had an X1 Carbon 3, and when I had the 2015 Carbon, or 2015 Pixel against the X1 Carbon 3, my main complaint about the X1 Carbon was that it felt a bit too flimsy. I believe they fixed this on the X1 Carbon 4, but not on, but, I, uh, bleh, where am I going at? I believe that they, they fixed it, it was just that the, 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 uh, LCD, it just, when you open up the lid, it just, it bent a bit, so it, I didn't feel too comfortable with it. This machine, it's super solid. Although it is aluminum body, it doesn't open all the way. This is as far as it goes. If you go anywhere past that, you crack. You know, you crack it. Um, most of the websites that I use, that I uh, I have to zoom in at 150 percent. So I have to zoom in more. I run this at native resolution. Um, and another cool thing is that if, if you have like, you could do like the two windows on the side and it works really good in the, uh, it's like a two, almost like a two plus K uh, screen because of the weird aspect ratio. But it's really good if you're just writing notes on one thing and looking at an article on another. Like seriously, if your eyes can handle it, it's really good. Um, my eyes are starting to get limited. The 4K panel on, on the X1 Carbon 3 was a little bit too much for me, but this one seems to be about right. Maybe if this was like a, I guess 1K? If this was just 2K, it would be fine. But hey, I'm, I'm not going to complain about it. Well, other than what I complain <laughs> about. <laughs> One of these buttons, this button right here. So all these buttons, you have to tap on them. But this button right here, which is like the window looker, it's, it's a sensitive just by touch, kind of like a touchpad. So when I tried to lower the brightness on this, on this laptop, or if I do, I even do the window expansion. I don't think I do. But when I do, when I lower the brightness on this, on this, uh, on the screen or on the keyboard, I sometimes hit that that button. So that's one minor complaint. So my overall rating on this laptop, it, I can't say ten out of ten. Ah, oh, but I would say, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, with that, it's gonna be nine out of ten. I was gonna give it a nine point five, but oh god gonna be nine nine out of ten really nice I get about maybe four hours of battery life three hours is typically what I get nowadays but this is like full brightness you know video I'm watching and like 10 tabs going on I love the machine I love how light how light it is how robust it feels and I love how loud the speakers are of course the most the most uh, prominent thing I like about it is that it just looks so sweet. Uh, I guess I'll end my video at that, and I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.